inspection conducted at a North Shore work release facility in Covington. For the second time in two weeks, state corrections officers went into North Shore workforce early this morning. The facility has been the subject of a series of eyewitness investigates reports. Officials at North Shore Workforce say 19 inmates were sent back to secure custody as a result. North Shore Workforce is a private company that runs one of two St. Tammany work release programs. Director Lester Mitchell says about 40 State Department of Corrections officers and St. Tammany Sheriff's deputies went in at 6.30 this morning for a surprise inspection. The agency drug tested all 190 inmates and 13 tested positive. Officers found synthetic marijuana and two cell phones. As a result, 19 inmates were sent back to the St. Tammany Parish Jail. Last week's physical search of the inmates only uncovered a homemade tattoo gun. Mitchell said surprise inspections are not uncommon. However, he did say 19 is a high number of inmates being sent back to jail from it. North Shore Workforce and the privately run facility in Slidell, St. Tammany Workforce Solutions, have been the subject of a series of four investigates reports. I know I wasn't in that facility at one point for five months straight. Literally, I did not set foot there for five months. It's a clear violation of the work release program that former inmate James Woodside described. He was working for a company with close connections to the work release facility, Baker Pile Driving. The St. Tammany Sheriff gave no bid contracts to groups of businessmen who own the two facilities. The Department of Corrections couldn't be reached for comment today. For more on my series of reports on the work release program, log on to WWLTV.com and check out Eyewitness Investigates.